Shalom, I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ha Reka Kodash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth. Also, want to acknowledge all the Akiam who are pushing this truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth where we've been scattered. All right, so. <clears throat> I'm just going to run with the spirit and uh, it has me today in Psalms 145, um, I'm sorry, 1, <coughs> 119, 145, okay, so, <coughs> well, you know what, through the spirit, let's start at 144. And it reads, the, the righteous of thy testimonies is everlasting. Oh, I'm sorry, the righteousness of thy testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding and I shall live. All right, that's, that's the prayer that all of us brothers should be praying, man, every morning is give, to get that understanding, to hope that the Holy Spirit is dealing with us, you see. So that, that's a, a humble prayer that, you know, a psalm, King David was saying that, you know, so like King David, we should, you know, we should pray for that understanding, just like Solomon did, you know, King Solomon prayed for understanding, and how to, he, his prayer was, to Yahweh was, you know, that he would rule his people justly, you know, with understanding, <clears throat> verse 145, it says, I cried with my whole mind, hear me, O Yahweh, I will keep thy statutes. I cried unto thee, save me, and I shall keep thy testimonies, you see. And that's, that's how Jake is, you know, we, we're like, <laughs> we're like, hey, you know, give us salvation and we'll keep the testimonies, you know. That's what we're working for, as a crown of salvation, a crown of righteousness, you see. That's why we're doing the videos, that's why we're doing the work. And it's because Yahweh Bashem Yashai put the Spirit on us and gave us the faith to do this work, okay. Verse 47. I prevented the dawning of the morning and I cried, or and cried. I hoped in thy word. So it says, I prevented the dawning of the morning and cried, I hoped in thy word, all right? And, and what that is, is, is seeking Yahweh early, all right? We should seek Yahweh Bashem Yashai early. That's what the, the elect will do, you know? We're seeking him early before Yahweh Shai pulls up on the scene, you see? You know, you want, like, like the, the ideal situation is if, hey, if you're doing the camps, and the chariots show up, they see you doing the work. They go, they're the messengers. They go back and report to Yahweh that, hey, these men are doing the work. You see? Proverbs 8 and 17. Like I said, you got to do it before Yahweh Shai comes back. You can't wait till the last, the last day and, and then start, uh, you know, when you see, uh, you see the uh, wrath and indignation of Yahweh Bashem Yahashai, and then you know want to be a part of the elect on that that last day. Proverbs eight seventeen it says, "I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me." So that's why when we read in Psalms one nineteen, he was seeking Yahweh Bashem Yahashai early because it says the morning. You see. 119. Let's see. 
It says 148, 119 and 148 reads, Mine eyes prevent the night watches that I may might meditate in thy word. So, you know, that's another thing. We, we meditate in the scripture, man. We, you know, we're going to, like right now I'm reading this lesson. And throughout the day, my mind will be meditating on this lesson, you see. Or I'll be listening to, I'll maybe watch the lesson, you know. I'll watch some other brothers do their lessons. And, and if I'm not watching, I'm meditating, you see. Verse 149, Hear my voice according unto thy loving kindness, O Yahweh, quicken me according to thy judgment. See? So, we want to be quickened in this truth. The elect will be quickened. What that means is, as soon as you hear the truth, or if the truth is presented to you, you're going to be like, oh shoot, this, you know, I got to, I got to learn more, or I got to repent. See? That's, that's what quicken means. You know, and quick, you know, you, you don't, you know, as soon as, like, the elect, they're going to hear this truth, and they're going to, you know, they're going to be, this is going to be their desire, you see? And everyone's measure of faith is different, but the all of the elect have faith. And when they hear this truth, they're going to, you know, um... <clears throat> You know, they're, they're, they're going to be uh, interested in, in learning more, you see, and repenting along the way. Um, let me see, what was I going to grab? Let me think. All right, I'll go back to 150. It says, They draw nigh that follow after mischief. They are far from thy law. See, so you don't want to be that example. You don't want to be far away from the laws of Yahweh Hashem Yashai. And you know, we're in captivity. You know, like today, I, I it's today's the Sabbath. You know, and um, last night was good because I kept the Sabbath. And then today, it, it's still the Sabbath until sundown. But guess what? I gotta, I gotta work. You know, I gotta go to work today. So we, we can keep the loss to the best of our ability, you know. We're, you know, if you can if you can um, afford to take the day off, take the day off on the Sabbath. That's the ideal thing, you see. And see how Yahweh Shem Shai deals with you, you see. Look what he did for our elders, man. They started keeping the loss to the best of their ability. He started giving them the knowledge, you see. The knowledge of the scriptures. And that's in uh, <coughs> Psalms also. Let's go to that real quick. Psalms 111. 10. It says, The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom, and good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. You see? So first off, starts out with that fear, you know. We know that Yahweh, we believe Yahweh Hashem can, uh, you know, he can put us to death. He can do whatever he 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 deems necessary for us, you know. This is his, this is his story. We're just in it, you know. We're characters in it. You got the, you got the elect. You got the you got the wicked, you know, the heathen, two thirds. Everybody plays their role, just like in a real movie. Hey, you got a, you got a villain, you know, the antagonist, and then you have the hero. See, so we're we're all in this movie. But guess what? The only ones who are gonna understand the movie are gonna be the ones who uh, keep the commandments to the best of their ability. See. And uh, like honestly, I I feel ashamed to say that I have to go to work today, you know. But 
because it is the Sabbath. So Psalms 119, and I'm at 151. Thou art near, O Yahweh, and all thy commandments are truth. So the ones who keep the, the, the laws and the commandments to the best of their abilities, hey, those are the ones that are, are near to, to Yahweh. 152. Concerning thy testimonies, I have known of old, and thou hast founded them forever. See? So, I mean, this, this law has been established since the beginning, man. Adam had the law. When, when um, Yahweh blew, air, um, blew, blew breath into Adam's nostrils, because Adam was already alive, all right? He blew the, nostril, the breath into his nostrils and gave him life. That's, why, that's how old these uh, testimonies are. See, 153. Consider mine infliction and deliver me, for I do not forget thy law. So just because we go through some trials and tribulations, you know, brothers go through various things. Hey, in that case, you know, in that case, you don't forget the law just because you're getting afflicted. 154, plead my cause and deliver me, quicken me according to thy word, okay? So that's what it is. We want to be quickened according to the scripture, not according to the philosophies of, uh, of the so-called white man, you know? Because he doesn't go, he doesn't go parallel with this Bible. You know, he doesn't go in line with this Bible. He, he, um, he does the opposite, see, so... Psalm 119, 155. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they seek not thy statutes. See, the wicked, they don't care about the laws. You know? They could care less. And two-thirds of our people, we always tell you, are wicked. And, and you take the same mindset as, as the so-called white man, Esau Edom. And you could care less about the laws, statutes, and commandments. You see? Um, <clears throat> oh, you know what? Psalms 10 and 4. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after Yahweh. Yahweh is not in all his thoughts. So not only are the he don't give a shit the wicked don't give a shit about the commandments, the laws, statutes, but they also they don't even have Yahweh in their thoughts. He doesn't even cross their mind, you see. Psalm 119, 157. <clears throat> like Esau Edom, he's he's getting ready to you know establish his his uh, new world order, which is going to fail. But you see, he doesn't regard the laws of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. He's not, he's not going to go up there and give credit. He does in a deceptive way, but he's not in his heart, in his mind, his true, you know, his, his sincerity. He's not going to be sincere about Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. He don't even, he don't believe, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is not in his thoughts, all right? And then you two-thirds, I, I talked to two Iskarites yesterday. They said they were both atheist see I was like damn I didn't know you know it was that heavy on on us like you know seems like the majority well it is two thirds is the majority the majority of these people are going to tell you that they're you know they don't believe in the scriptures of our own people is what I'm talking about so let's see 155 salvation is far from the wicked, for they seek not thy statutes, right? They could care less. 156, they are thy tender mercies, O Yahweh, quicken me according to thy judgment. Many are my persecutors and mine enemies, yet I do not decline from thy testimonies. 
And man, we become enemies in this truth to almost everybody, man. Your, your mother, your father, your, uh, you know, if they're not in line with this truth, you know, they, they end up despising you one way or another because of something that pertains to this truth, you know? It could be, like I say, your mother, your father, your, your, your brother, your, your sister, your, your, your children, you know? You're the, you're the bad guy, you know what I mean? Sometimes, like, you know, just everyone has their own reason. If they're not a part of this truth, they're going to have their own reason to, to uh, you know, basically get mad at you because of your testimony, because of what you teach them. And really, you, you get to a point, you're better off not saying nothing to them about the truth because, you know, we'll say, Matthew, not, do not give thy pearls to swine. see where I'm at Psalm 119 and 158 I beheld the transgressors and was grieved because they kept not thy word see and that's how we are we look at all the transgressors from our nation because the only ones who can transgress are the Israelites because we're the only ones who the laws were given to so technically, Edomites really they they can't sin because they're they've never been under the law. The laws were never given to them. It tells you that in uh, Romans nine, I think it's verse four, all right? But anyway, that's how the mindset we have. Like one fifty eight, it says, "I beheld." That means I observed the transgressors and was grieved because they kept not thy word. So we were grieved when we see all of our people, and it's like it's sad, you know. Like, it, it, you do get to the point where you're like, well, fuck the two-thirds. But, because we're natu naturally a compass compassionate people, you know, first time when I heard two people say in a row, Issacharites, hey, I'm an atheist. Yeah, it was, I was grieved, you see? 159. Consider how I love thy precepts. Quicken me, O Yahweh, according to thy loving kindness. See? And that's beautiful because, hey, brothers can sincerely say that we love these precepts, man. We love the scripture, you know? People around us that are, that are near to us, they know, they know how much we love these precepts. See? So at the end of the day, you know, hey... They have that, they see what happens, you know, they see the changes in us as men of, you know, being a part of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, believing in this truth, you know, learning and then teaching, you see, is why, because we love the precepts and they quicken us. And that's what we're part of our, you know, when we're begging for, or we're making a supplication to Yahweh or prayer to Yahweh or begging, which prayer means beg. Hey, you know, <clears throat> then then that's what it is. Where it's like, consider how I love thy precepts, you know, like a, you're begging. Just I mean, come on, consider how much I love these precepts, Yahweh. Let me be part of the elect. Let me be part of the 144,000. See? Consider how I love these precepts. Verse 160. Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. Yeah, see? This, this truth has been the truth from the beginning. Because you had... The, the, the Holy Bible... It, you know, it prophesies many prophecies that have already came to pass. All right? So now you have prophecies in the scriptures that have not come to pass. And they're scattered throughout the whole Bible. The prophecies are, are, are basically from the beginning all the way to the end. From Genesis to Revelation. All right? And really, our elders are always... 
going in on us, you know, going in on that saying, hey, you know, we need to get out here and prophesy, you know. We're not going to sit there and just keep reading to you the, the story of David and Bathsheba every week in the in the congregation, you know, like the Christians do. No, we're going to, we're going to, um, you know, <clears throat> we're going to keep on uh, keeping on, as they say, with this truth. In season, out of season, not ceasing, not stopping. Because these prophecies, are, like I say, the prophecies will all be fulfilled. And that's the, that's the spirit we should be in. that real quick and I'm gonna close on that because like I said I gotta I gotta make some shekels man oops let me see revelation it says and I fell at his feet to worship him and he said unto me see thou do it not I am thy fellow servant. This, you know, Yahweh Shai is who this is talking about. And of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Okay, so maybe this was an angel, Salakia. Ah, no, this is Yahweh Shai, I believe. But anyway, I am thy fellow servant of thy brethren and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. See? So when we're giving our testimonies, you know, on behalf of, you know, Yahweh Shai, hey, this, it's a spirit of prophecy. This is how we should be teaching, you know. Thy brethren have a testimony of Yahweh Shai, worship Yahweh, see. So we're supposed to worship Yahweh, you know. We do worship Yahweh Shai, because this is Yahweh Shai just, you know. It's it's a humble act saying, hey, you know, don't worship me. I'm the fellow servant. But um, <clears throat> that's the spirit we're in, brothers, is the spirit of prophecy. Just like our big brother, Yahweh Shai. And, um, you know, seeking that salvation, fearing Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, fearing, you know, Fearing Yahweh, knowing that hey, this is is, is is literally it's go time. You look at the news, you look at the state of the people, you know. I mean, if it's not go time, then I, I don't know what is. Every, all the all the prophecies are, are uh, speaking, you know, like it tells you in Habakkuk. Let's get that real quick. Because the prophecies are all written in the book, right? So let's read this. Habakkuk 2 and 2. And Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. And he's talking about the vision of the end, but that's one of the prophecies. You know, he's talking about the missiles, the micro, the CHIP, you know. Um, so the end times, right? He's, he, Yahweh told Habakkuk to write it down. Verse 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. You know? And it, the word tarry means to linger, right? So it, yeah, the scriptures tells you that it's not going to linger super you know, long. Like we think, oh, it, it might be you know, a long time before you know, the end. But no, it actually... I don't think it's tarrying. Is this gonna? It, it's gonna come like a thief in the night to the uh, wicked. You know. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and close out on that though. I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem 
Ha Rukak Wadash, double honors goes out to the elder apostle of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth. And also I want to acknowledge Al Akyam who are pushing this truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom to the elect.